Delphi XZ2 and C++ Builder XZ2 now support styles for your VCL applications. You can use styles to modernize the look and feel with very few lines of code. So let's take a look at how to use styles in your VCL applications. We'll say File New and we'll create a C++ VCL application. Put a button on it. There's a couple ways to use styles. One is we can use code. We can also use a new project option where we can specify the styles that we want to use. We'll go down to Application Appearance and all the styles that are found uh, can be loaded into your project and built into your executable. You can also choose the default style. So let's add a couple styles. Let's add Carbon and uh, Ruby Graphite. And then we can choose one of these selected styles. Notice that Windows is always a choice. And then when we run our application, we'll see that the look of our C++ application has this Carbon look. We can go and change the style and choose the default style to be Ruby Graphite, for example, and hit Run and now our application has a different style. Let's see this in a Delphi application as new VCL, and we'll put a button down. And the same thing holds. We can go and choose the project appearance and the project options, and choose the different styles that are available, and choose a default starting style, and run the application, and it has that style. Now, if you choose the project options and choose all the styles, they will be loaded as resources in your executable. You can also load styles in your application using code. So let's go on this button click, and we'll first add two units to our uses statement, vcl.style and vcl.themes. And then we can use the style manager, and we can say, let's, uh, let's load a style from a file. And we'll give it the path to our style file. And then we'll call tStyleManager.setStyle and give it the name of that style. By default, styles are stored in your users, public, public documents, Rad Studio, Nino, styles. So in here are the VSF files for VCL style files. We also have our FireMonkey style files saved there as well. So we'll take this path and we'll paste it in. And we'll pick one of the styles like uh, Golden Graphite, for example. And we'll put in the Golden Graphite.vsf file name. And then we'll use the name for Golden Graphite to find it in memory. And it's Golden Space Graphite. And we'll run this application. So it comes with one style and then switches to another style. One other thing to note in your main application program, the default style will be set to whatever you checked as your project options. So in this case, Aqua Graphite is the default style. Let me show you a more complete example for the VCL, which takes the master detail application that talks to uh, Interbase Database and will load styles. So this style button here will choose from all the default styles that are built that are built into your application. So in the form create for my main application, we'll iterate through all the style names that are in the style manager that are loaded into resources. And we'll put those styles in a choice from the menu items in that style button. So let's take a look at this in action. So we can open up and browse data. We can look at parts information. And then we can use the style button to choose a style. And notice it'll style all the windows of our application. Now you can also create and test your own styles. Under the Tools menu, there's the VCL Style Designer. Uh, that Style Designer is also uh, a binary that's in your bin folder of your install directory. And here we can look at all the different objects that can be styled. The parts of a form, the borders of the, of the form, uh, types of button, the button face, the text property, check boxes, and so on. You can also see the images. So here's the style bitmap file that defines the style. You can choose fonts, colors, and see all. And you can go and choose one of these and set the different options for your button or for your checkbox or your radio button. And you can also test the style and see what it looks like by going style and test. You can see all the choices and how they will be styled in your application. The style support is available in Delphi XE2 and C++ Builder XE2. And in the style 
editor, you can save your own custom styles and create those styles and give them as part of your application.